Hi! Welcome back to my channel. It is Feel Unique Pick and Mix Samples. So let's dive on in see what we've got. Feel Unique is a sample service or Pick and Mix is a sample service through Feel Unique website where you get to choose five samples once a month for the price of £3.95. They have skincare, hair care, perfume, you name it, they've got it. You receive a little piece of paper here and it basically just tells you the items that you've received. And sometimes you get some vouchers. I don't think we have any. This is what it is, Feel Unique Pick and Mix. Five new samples to get obsessed with. It says, don't forget to check your dispatch email to find out how you can claim back the shipping and handling fee on your next order. Love your samples? Share your hashtag Feel Unique Delivery and tag at Feel Unique for a chance to be featured on our Insta. So there you go. So let's dab on in. Now, this one is pretty perfume heavy because I love just getting samples of perfume. But the first thing I got is this. I've heard loads about mane and tail shampoo and I've never ever tried it. And I thought to myself, now's your chance girl, try it. So this is the mane and tail and this one is shampoo hydrating or re, re, can I speak? Deep, but deep moisturising shampoo and conditioner so it's quite a decent size sample really they've got all different ones like for coloured hair and all that jazz but this one's for dry damaged hair and this is the original one so it says on it shampoo a natural moisture retention treatment combined with our exclusive micro and rich protein for strengthening while providing healthy shiny manageable hair the results will speak for themselves. So we will see. Because my hair is a diva. Benefits. Helps repair dry damage from styling and the environment. Extra moisturising combined with gentle cleansing. Nourishes and fortifies with vitamin E and pro-vitamin B5. Deep hydration. Botanical protein helps strengthen. So how big is these packs? Does it say on it? Anywhere it must do. Let's see. 12 fluid ounces. I don't think that's what it is, is it? Anyway, it's a decent enough size. Does it say on this thing? Let me have a look. Let me have a look. 10 mils. 2 times 10 mils. But that's loads, isn't it? I mean, I do have longish hair, so it might not last me. It should, though. Because, like, for conditioner, I only put it on the mid lengths and down. We'll let you know how I get on with it. So that's all that. And then the next few items are perfume samples. Now, I'll start with this one because I've had it before. This is the Olympia by Paco Rabanne Intense Eau de Parfum. I love this. This is so nice a perfume. It says a salty vanilla amber accord, kernel and charming, with a heart of orange blossom pulsating to white paper, Flowers bloom and tumble into a salty vanilla and white ethereal amber base. Unexpected, illicit and captivating. And it is so gorgeous. I love it. And every time I wear it, people are like, oh, that smells nice. And you don't need much of it. I do have Olympia, which I picked up the bigger bottle from Next. Thinking, and then when I got it, I was like, this doesn't smell right. And I didn't realise that there's a few different ones. So... We've got that. This one I picked up, I've never heard, had before. It's called Replica. Reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. So this is what it looks like. This one is called a Originality Beach Walk. Province and period, Calvi 1972. Fragrance description, sun-kissed, salty skin. Style description, female fragrance. And it's by... M Maison Margilia, Paris. So I don't know. But I thought I'd give it a try. If I don't like it, I don't like it. Oh. And I've gone and ripped it. So it's... Anyway, this is what the big bottle looks like. And because I've gone and ripped that off, it didn't come off. 
let's see if we can salvage to see what it says. It says, Beach Walk, notes of Ylang Ylang, bergamot and pink peppercorn, the fragrance of the beach and salt sprayed skin a summer's day. So hopefully it'll be nice. I'm going to spray it into the room rather than on me. Mm. It smells okay. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure, but... Hmm. The jury's out on that one right now. But again, it's good to try. I think that one might give me a headache, if I'm honest. Next one I picked up. Oh, that's strong. Oof. The next one is Pure Excess Night by Paco Rabanne. Oh, that's really strong. Whoa. Oh, see if I'd spread that on me. That's going to well give me a headache. So we've got this one. Whew. Yuck. This one says an intriguing oriental ginseng and salty spicy caramel explosively exotic. This isn't for men, is it? It is for him. <laughs> yeah, it's a man's one. So that will be going in my partner's Christmas stocking. That's another nice thing to do is do that as well. I want to smell it. Oh, I'll wait. I can smell it when he sprays it. Then I picked up Libre by YSL Eau de Parfum. Two of my favourite perfumes are YSL Mon Paris, love it, and Black Opium. So this says, if you can find English, the first floral lavender, the first floral lavender for a singular trail like a breath of freedom. The iconic orange blossom flower from Morocco, a luminous and sensual white flower twisted by the lavender from France, an ambiguous flower often considered as masculine, masculine, bringing boldness, freshness and texture. A fragrance as a shout of freedom, the freedom to live everything to the fullest. So it's got orange blossom flower, lavender and white musks. So I'm not sure if I like this because I'm not a musk fan. But we'll spray it again and see what we think. Well, that's actually quite nice. Are you sure that's not men's? Because that smells very man manly. Maybe it is a unisex one. But that smells... But it did seem masculine, did it? Whew, it's very masculine. Mm -hmm. Does it say... They were often considered as mask. That it smells very manly, so I'm not sure. I think that might be a man's perfume. I'll have to look it up. So Bruce might be getting that too. So yeah, that's my picks. We've got the shampoo and conditioner, which I'm looking forward to try. My little perfume that I love. This one that I'm on the fence about at the moment. The one for Bruce. The one that's potentially for Bruce. I don't know. It smells very manly. Let me know if you've tried this or if you've picked it up. Is it for men? Is it for women? Is it unisex? Do you think it smells manly? Let me know. And that's it guys. So if you like this, please give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click the bell button to be notified and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.